picture of the Commission's agenda is uh, very broad because we have to do a lot of things together and I'm sure that your visit will be a very important step in implementation of our plans and uh, planning for new developments. And definitely it will strengthen even more our bilateral ties which develop very successfully. As you know, I've been many times uh, in the United Kingdom. My last uh, visit uh, was three years ago when I met then Prime Minister Madam May and had a very good discussion. And after that, relations, despite pandemic, were very, in a very active phase. So this uh, year, in February, we hosted uh, Minister Madam Morton, which also we had a very good uh, conversation. Now your visit, so all this demonstrates a very active political dialogue and uh, also big prospects in economic area. I just looked at the paper before your arrival at Azerbaijan and saw that it's more than 30 billion of uh, investments from United Kingdom to Azerbaijan. Really, it's a lot and it helps us to develop. It helps us to develop not only oil industry and gas industry, but general development because these investments uh, led to additional revenues to our budget which we reinvested in non-oil and gas related areas. And uh, today cooperation continues very actively. BP is our strategic partner for 30 years and at least 30 years to come uh, because of the new uh, prospects and new uh, agreement side. And as you know, now both uh, BP and Azerbaijan are very actively working on renewable sources of energy. I just received information recently from our minister that there is a plan to invest in solar power generation on the liberated areas, which will be very helpful to us, especially uh, with respect uh, to the fact that we announced liberated territories of Karabakh as a territory of green energy and smart city. At the same time, I'd like to say that uh, we already invited British companies as our partners, among the first uh, foreign companies, to work with us on the restoration and reconstruction of the liberated territories, and this process already started. Uh, already cities master plan have been prepared, and we are in a very active phase. And we want to expand cooperation with British companies as companies from a friendly country. And I'm sure that during the uh, session of the Commission, this issue also will be discussed. So really, we have a very broad agenda of bilateral cooperation. Once again, welcome to Azerbaijan. Your Excellency, thank you so much for your warm welcome. Uh, it's a delight to be here. Um, the UK, as you know, is a long-standing partner and a champion of Azerbaijan's sovereignty and independence. And uh, we are pleased and privileged to be a close partner with Azerbaijan over so many years. And we're also excited um, by many things, but I'd pick out um, two. One is your vision uh, of a greener and sustainable future, which the UK is committed to. And I think it is your vision to ensure that Azerbaijan is not just a successful oil and gas economy, but thinks ahead plans strategically for the long term uh, to because the, the future is going to be greener that is where global investment is going to go and the opportunity for us to uh, deepen um, our relationship as you say uh, with BP as a strategic partner uh, there's an enormous opportunity there and by putting the right uh, policies and measures in place then there's your long-term legacy for the country is to We've built up and developed it on oil and gas, but are looking to the future.